Not Okay is a narrative satire currently streaming on Hulu. It's an unflinching exploration of internet trolling, sensationalizing fame, and exploiting grief. Let's talk about it. Zoe Dutch and Dylan O'Brien return off their amazing performances in The Outfit earlier this year to bring us this film about a fame monster who's so desperate to gain followers that she pretends to be a victim of a terrorist attack. Zoe plays an aspiring writer named Danny. She's not a good writer, in fact, she's an awful writer who's on the verge of being fired at the online magazine she works for called Depravity. Danny's so oblivious to how bad she is, but she's so desperate for a promotion that she takes a break from work, claiming that she's been invited to an exclusive writer's retreat in Paris. But what she actually does is stays home and photoshops herself in Paris, hoping that the initiative will force or compel her boss to promote her. Now she's also aiming to increase her online visibility to impress her boss and her hot co-worker that she's crushing on, played by Dylan O'Brien. Danny is so morally bankrupt and starved for attention and gets exactly what she deserves. Or does she? The area Danny's supposed to be staying at in Paris is bombed and everyone who's seen her Paris reels on IG or social media thinks she didn't survive this bombing. For sympathy, she pretends to be a survivor of this tragic event, which gets her the raise, the promotion that she was gunning for, and the internet fame she so craved. But by the time she realizes this charade has poisoned her soul and traumatized the people she cares about, it's too late. Or is it? Those are the dominant themes that writer-director Quinn Shepard explores in this film. Here's the thing. Movies like this are not always going to work in this climate. I think for the most part they don't work. Even though people like Danny's character exist online. I won't say in real life, but they exist online. The same issues with this film are similar to the same issues moviegoers had, in my opinion, that moviegoers had with the film adaptation of Dear Evan Hansen, other than his age. Capitalizing off trauma, especially when someone else is suffering from it, is too vulturistic for audiences, even though this is satire. I think this just hits too close to home to resonate with general audiences. Now, I think that Aubrey Plaza's 2017 film, Anger Goes West, worked because it was more self-inflicting than self-indulgent. What I mean by that is, she portrayed a character that was suffering and was desperate for connection and community. In Not Okay, this protagonist is exploiting the grief of a high schooler, the victim of a school shooting who lost her little sister from it. And that's so cringy. I just don't know how this would resonate again with general audiences or even the target audience. I don't see how it resonates in this climate. I will be the first to say that all stories should be told, but not all perspectives are going to work. Every character doesn't have to be vanilla or live in, in an idealistic bubble. 
that doesn't ring true. Idealism should be challenged by protagonists and antagonists alike. This film, though, is tone deaf on purpose. That's why it's structured with uh, chapter breaks and with the story beginning with internet trolls attacking uh, Danny, attacking the main character. I mean, before we even really know what she's done, we see the internet trolls sharing their disgust of what she did and we don't even know what she's done yet and there's also a disclaimer before fading in to warn that this protagonist of this story is unliked so they are protecting those that may be triggered by this type of content survivors of mass shootings and so forth suffering from internet bullying um, because it may be triggering and may repulse those who have suffered through tragedies like that. But it doesn't back down from how corrosive, how corrosive Danny is as a character. And I don't think, here's the thing, I don't think this story spends nearly enough time to redeem the immediate victim of Danny's exploitation, Mia Isaac's character, Rowan. Now, Rowan does deliver a powerful spoken word in the finale to aid in her healing of being not okay. After all that, Danny just suffers after all of the turmoil she's put this young girl through and her family and others who have survived things like this. She's just trolled online. It doesn't seem satisfying. I mean, she's fired from her job and loses followers, but she's trolled. And I don't know that that's satisfying enough. And on top of that, on top of all that, she attends group therapy to find a way to atone for all the pain and grief she caused, but it's really self-serving and privilegy. She's flaunting her privilege in this way. That, to me, is a weak ending and a cop-out. It wasn't it wasn't satisfying, the finale. Have you seen Not Okay on Hulu? And if so, what did you think? Was it cringy to you? Was the ending satisfying? What do you think about this film? Other than I know we all like Zoe Dutch and, and Dylan O'Brien and even Mia Isaac, who um, this is my, the second film I saw and she's great. I just wonder outside of what we like about the actual actors, what about this film? Is this film triggering? It, I just felt a kind of way. It's cringy, although I can see what they were trying to convey, but it's still, it's, it's, it's too cringy. Like this isn't something I would revisit. At any rate, thank you so much. If you stuck around this long, I certainly appreciate you. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, peace.